Okay, all for up starts. Starting off, like always, you need to stand with your feet shoulder width apart. And now I'm practicing the stance. Using the line, I call it the great white line. You want to put your left foot on the line. Then you want to have your back foot, your right foot, nowhere near the line. Okay, raising your back heel off the floor. But what you want to do is make sure you maintain the same amount of space between your legs when moving forwards and also when moving backwards. Remember guys, it's just as simple as this. If when you're moving your front foot a little bit backwards, you want to move your back foot the same amount of space. Same thing when you're moving forwards. What you don't want to do is you want to move the front leg a lot and a little, the back leg a little bit. Then what's happened is you've, you've invaded your space. The same thing with moving forwards, if you move this a lot and you move this a little bit, what you've done is you've increased your space. You want to do it the same forwards and the same amount backwards. Just to keep the same amount of space between your legs. Also guys, what you'll find will happen naturally is that your back leg will start to come in line with the front leg. The reason why that is, is because our anatomical position, we're born like this, with our body aligned like this. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to train your brain and practice doing something that's unnatural to itself, the boxing stance. Remember to keep your, your knees bent and your back heel off the ground. Also guys, what's gonna happen is you see the top half, as soon as you, you, you adapt this position with your feet, what happens is naturally your body, your body then goes what we call square. Both of your shoulders pointing forward. That's not what you want. You want what you want is a side-on position. So what you want to do is you want to turn your top half of your shoulders. So you, until your until your left shoulder points forward and your back shoulder obviously points backwards into your into your kind of like side on. So that's another thing you could do as well. After you've practiced your feet, then start to adapt the top half of your body to be in a side on position as well. Practice as much as possible. Again, using a mirror. That's what you want to use most of the time. You always want to be in front of the mirror to see where you're, where you're on. Okay, now to add with your feet, you've got the correct position, you've that, that adapted the correct position with your feet. Now what you want to do is with your top half is make sure your top half is not square, so that means both shoulders pointing forward. You now want to turn your, your body side on this way and maintain this position when you're moving backwards and forwards. Also making sure your chin is down and your eyes are looking through your brow. But maintain that your chin's down. If you're still having problems with keeping your, your chin down, looking through your brow, what you could do is add the tennis ball under your chin. Keeping that there firmly under your chin and on your chest, then moving backwards and forward.